Hey, welcome to the DM's Craft. I'm DM Scotty, and uh, this is episode three, part three. Um, we're pressing on with the details of the tile. Um, there's a lot of really cool techniques I want to show you in this video, so I don't, uh, it's hard to fit everything in. Um, I'm going to have to do another video to finish out this tile. Sorry about that. Um, but I want you to know all these techniques. Um, they're really great little uh, uh, gems that you can put on your tiles and uh, to make them really stand out. And with that, we'll get on with the, with the, uh, with the tile building. I've got a, uh, as you can see here, I have the door, it's completed. Um, it's been base painted and uh, textured with the stone texture. I've got a figure here for comparison uh, to the size of the door, so um, to give you an idea. Um, so what I did was, I um, bring it a little closer here. What I did here is I put some rubble on there and I used the flocking technique that I talked about earlier. Um, I put those raised areas um, that I talked about. I put the edging on the door so you can't see the corrugation. And what I'm going to do now is um, do the wet technique and uh, paint some black on here. So I'll get my brush wet. And then I'm going to paint that rubble there. It's fairly wet. I got some more black and I want to kind of accentuate that the, the stone's been smashed so I'm going to kind of flick outwards so that kind of gives it that look and um, I'll just turn it around do the same for the other side just kind of flicking out don't want to cover too much up maybe a little bit in the doorway and uh, we'll let that dry, and uh, then I'll, uh, I'm gonna highlight it a little bit, and then that'll be it for the door. So we've let this, uh, the black wash dry, so you can see it um, looks pretty good, but um, can't really see the details much, so what I'm gonna do is pick those out a bit with a light gray, so, um, I'm going to lean that forward a little bit so you can see. I'm going to pick up some very light gray with this smaller brush. And then I'm going to go over the rubble and see how that pops out. Like you can see in the individual small pebbles. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the door frame. And just kind of go like that. So it picks out that edge. Um, then I'm going to get the... Uh, the detail that I put on there, which were those little triangles, and see how those pop out a little bit. So it adds to that. You can do a little, you can also pick out this edge. So uh, that's uh, what the door looks like. And um, I'll do the other side and then we'll see what it looks like on the tile. Now I've got the doorway arch set up on the tile and you can see that you can even see the, the player character through the door. Um, it adds a nice uh, touch of dimensionality to the tile. Um, and um, I'll move the character back. And you, as you can see, this lifts right up, like it comes right off the tile. Um, and the reason I like to do this instead of um, just gluing it to the tile, for one, it's harder to store your tiles because there's stuff sticking up on the tile. For two, you could just take this doorway and move it um, when they go down the hall and go through another doorway, make two or three of these, and that's all you need to make. You don't need one for every room in your dungeon. As they move out of, other, as they move out of places of the dungeon and you take tiles up from the table to, to make room, then you can just use the same door. So that's a great technique um, for making uh, doorways or archways without having to make 50 of them for your dungeon. Say your dungeon has 50 doors. You don't have to make that many. Just make as many as you might need at one time. So um, that's how that works. Okay, now this is how we're going to do the cages. Um, you can see I've got some various items sitting here. Um, you see that this looks like um, bars. 
Um, I've got two strips of cardboard, and these are just toothpicks um, stuck in through the cardboard. So um, what I did is I cut these thin strips of cardboard. These are like a quarter inch thick, um, or wide, I mean. And then um, you'll notice, too, that the cardboard um, is very um, thin, like it's about half the width of a regular piece of cardboard. And this kind of cardboard generally comes from like keyboard boxes or um, boxes that are generally inside other boxes when you get sets and that kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll take a couple of these pieces, like here, and then I'll just move toothpicks through them, uh, through the holes. So what I'll do is I'll uh, do the first hole. Actually, I'm going to do the second because that's near the end. And then I'll just stick it through there. And then I'll just put it through the same hole um, in the next piece. So now you'll notice one thing that's different here. Um, this, piece, this one here has flat bottoms. And this has a sharp on each end. So what I've done is for this one, I have just um, cut off the toothpicks. So um, what I'll do is I will um, just take the toothpick and uh, take some scissors and just cut off the bottom. And that's all there is to it. So when I put these in, so what I'll do is I'll measure um, two down, two holes down. Oops. Okay. So now it's all weird and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push down. Um, and then you want to get these kind of even. You can um, measure if you have to uh, between the two. So, um, and uh, once you get that, once you get that in, um, all you need to do is um, take, your, take your glue. Uh, this is just Elmer's glue all, uh, very cheap. And then to get it to secure it, what I'll do is I'll just glue, put a dab of glue on each stick. So now that I've got that glued, I'm just going to kind of smear it so it doesn't leave a big dab. And um, once that dries, it'll be like this. Okay. So now I've got this. Um, what I can do is I can, um, I've cut these strips that um, are the width of the cell entrance. So what I'll do is, you can see, um, I've pre-colored these stone, and the cells, I'll glue the cell, the bars, I'll cut them off, I'll cut them off here, and they'll glue on this stand. And that stand will stand in front of the cell. Now I've glued the base because the door was all gonna be stone, but I don't want this to be stone, I want this to look like metal. So I'm gonna paint this separately and then glue it on the base. Um, I'm also going to take these strips and I can put them up and down and it'll make what looks like the cell door. Okay? So, and then that's all there is to it. So, um, so what I'll do is I'll look at this and I will need to cut it here. So I will just cut that. All right, so now I've got that, that, those bars. So I'll just, when I'm ready, I'll just stand those up and I'll glue it, I'll hot glue it onto the base and that'll stand up and that'll be my cell. So um, what I'll do is I'll cut the rest of those out and um, then I'll, um, I'm gonna base them black um, like I did with all the other stuff on the tile. And then um, I'll just paint it like a metallic to make it look like a metal. And you'll notice that I painted them black. I base painted them black. Um, I've also put these strips here to kind of simulate a door uh, for the uh, cell. Um, so I've just base painted them black. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint these like a gunmetal. So I'm just using acrylic paint, um, a gunmetal acrylic paint. So I'll just use my brush, my large brush. And I'll get some of that metallic, and I'll just start slopping it on. 
So what I'll do is I'll do that for the rest of the ones and then I'm gonna um, put a little bit of brown on it uh, to make them look rusty and old and um, then we'll, we'll proceed from there. Now you notice also too that I have three uh, pieces. I have two that are just one long piece and these three pieces. I'm gonna make one of the tiles or one of the cells, the door hang, the door has fallen down, uh, the cell bars are bent, and this one the cell bars are just straight up. So it's going to be um, like the cell um, over time just collapsed, the bars just collapsed in and were broken into. Um, so I'll add some more interest to the tile uh, and kind of break it up. So I'll uh, finish painting these and uh, we'll move on to the next step. So here we are. Um, I've got the uh, cell bars painted with the uh, metallic uh, gunmetal, and I put a little bit of brown on them to age them up. So what we're the whole uh, idea here is to take these um, bases that I cut out of cardstock and painted with the texture paint, and glue them to the bases so they will stand up. So um, what I'll do is I'll just use the uh, the glue gun, and we'll uh, put those two together. And then set it on the tile. And you want to try to get it in the center there. And then just hold it for a few seconds. And there we go. We have our standing bars right there. Okay. So now I'll do this other one. I oh, uh, got a string from the uh, glue gun. So. Uh, we'll do the other one, but first I want to talk about this one. Now this one isn't going to be standing up. I'm going to have some of the pieces laying down, like this is the door to the cell. I'm going to have it laying down, and I'm going to have part of the bars standing up. So what I'll do is, so they, they all fit, I'll start with these bars. So I'll glue these bars down. Okay, so right there. So now I'm going to glue the door. So stick it on the tile. So here's what we got so far. We got the door laying down and we got these standing bars. So now I'm going to put these bent bars on the tile. So I'll go like this, like they're bent. So we get the glue on those bars, put them like that, and lean them out a bit so it looks like they're coming out. So What's so nice about the glue gun, it dries almost instantly. So there's we go, there's the, uh, there's what that looks like. And uh, so that cell will just be messed up. Here we go, I'm all set up to flock. Um, basically flocking is just using, a, I use a coarse sand so it looks like rubble. Uh, don't use the play sand, it's too small. Um, use the uh, uh, construction sand. Here I'm just gonna use uh, Elmer's glue all. And so basically I'll just put a few puddles of glue. Okay. So I think that's all the glue I'm going to put in my down. jar here. And I'm just going to pour it over the glue. And I usually do it on a plate so it's less messy. Then I can just pour it right back in that jar there. So make sure you want to make sure you cover all the glue up. Okay, so there we go. Now I've got um, two, the two um, uh, bars for the cells, and then I've got the one uh, bars for the cells that's all bent and twisted and broken into. So uh, we'll let the flocking on that one dry, and then we'll finish out these bars. Once again, thanks for joining us. Um, I'll try to get everything finished up in the next video and you can see how the tile comes together and with all the uh, elements on the tile and how it uh, finally shapes up. So uh, we'll see you then on the DM's Craft.